Welcome to this service. My name is Yobel. Let us bow our head for a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you this day. Thank you for protecting us through the journey. And as we sing, help us to sing well in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Jesus. Your strength, a river that will never stop. Your mercy is endless and covers everyone. You are the about new things. That's okay, pals. 
God's promise also includes his love and strength for us. He helps us to be brave and teaches us new things in new places. Ew, ew, ew. I can't wait to explore and learn new things with God by my side. Me too. It sounds like an exciting adventure. Remember, wherever we go, God's promises go with us. Let's trust him, explore new territories, and discover amazing things together. A very big God by my side, by my side. A very big God by my side, by my side. A very big God by my side, by my side. A very big God by my side, by my side. A very big God by my side, by your side. A very big God by my side, by your side. morning boys and girls how are you how was your week i hope the week was fine boys and girls my name is teacher george and i welcome you to our today's lesson so sit down take your note and let's learn together boys and girls do you remember what you learned last sunday yeah what was the lesson? The lesson was taking new territories. Do you know what is taking new territories means? Yeah. Those are territories we say it is land or spaces. The new space that you are in may be new school, new residence, moving from this place to another, or meeting new friends. But today, we want to learn something new. Boys and girls, are you ready to learn our lesson today? Yes. Our lesson today is the promise of new territories. What is a promise, boys and girls? The promise it is, let's say for example, your parents, your dad and mom tells you, today we are going to to the supermarket to buy what something so if you obey or you become a good boy or a good girl your mom dad can say that he, he can buy you sir something so when your dad and mom promise you to, to buy something say he's going to buy you something that is a promise and he when you you obey he always fulfill what he has said so a promise it is a saying and a fulfillment of that saying. So boys and girls, in this, era, in this lesson today, we have been learning about taking new territories as our theme for this year. And I want us to just imagine you are in a class. You have found new people, new friends, or you have found what? A new teacher. Or you have moved from one school to another. That is a new place. But there is something that can make you even be afraid to be in that place. Because you find what? You find new place. These are new people you have never met before. So boys and girls, you become what? Afraid. But as we want to learn from our Bible story today, we are going to learn something, that when you are in those new territories, the promise of those new territories, one of the things is, we should not fear. We should not be afraid. Our Bible story is coming from the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 1 to 9. The Bible says that after Moses died, God told Joshua to take charge of the children of Israel. And Joshua he was very new. He didn't know what to do. So Joshua was sometimes was afraid to do what? To take those church. So God told Joshua, he is the one who is going to take the children of Israel to the promised land. And before going to the promised land, he was supposed to, to cross River Jordan. And do you know when crossing River Jordan? 
bo that is a that is a very very hard thing but what did god told joshua he told joshua i am going to be with you so don't be afraid and one of the things that god told joshua that he should not get what afraid why because god is good, will be together with him so boys and girls as we are learning in the today's lesson about the promise of new territories these new territories maybe as a young uh, as boys and girls these are whether you are in new school whether you are going to meet new friends these are territories and these territories that when you meet you, you come across them sometimes because they are new you tend to be fearful you tend to be afraid because when you find a somebody someone that you have never find you have never met before you tend to be afraid when you go to a new place where you have never you have never been before you tend to be afraid so when you are in, in that place you become what you fear but what does god told to, what did god told joshua he said to joshua my joshua don't be afraid i am going to be together with you so boys and girls even in this area that whether you are in school you find new teacher you find new friends you find all those things you are either in a new place you have moved from one location to another you tend to be fearful and you tend to be afraid you don't want to talk you don't want even to associate with other boys and girls but what is the word of god telling us the word of god is saying which is the word of god which is the bible is telling us we should not fear why because we have jesus on our inside so when we are taking these new territories whether you are in a new class because you trust in god and you believe in god and you have been a sunday school children child when you are in these new territories because you have god in yourself god is telling you not to be afraid so in this time that we are in of taking new territories there are things that god is promising us is he's saying to us one is we should not be afraid the other thing is we should not be discouraged the other thing is we should not we should be courageous as we can see in the word of god when when god told joshua be don't be discouraged don't be discouraged for taking these new, new territories so boys and girls when you meet when you are in this year this year i know you are in the new class you are in whether you, you are in the you have been the new village or a new place that you are in the word of god is telling us we should not be afraid and that is one of the promise the lord is telling us so we should not be afraid we should always have faith in god and boys and girls we cannot do the, all these things without jesus on our inside so boys and girls i want you do you know you can have jesus on your inside so i want before we continue i want we invite jesus in our heart and when we invite jesus in our heart he becomes our friend and he do he does what he help us to face these new territories so boys and girls can we close our eyes can we pray say say this prayer before me lord jesus i invite you into my heart come be my friend god help me even in this new territories that i am in that i should not fear and i should be courageous and i should always do what you do you want me to do dear lord jesus i come before you help me to be your son in jesus name amen so after after you have prayed that prayer jesus or oh god is your friend and as you take these new territories when you go to the new places in your class in new friends 
there were, by, the, 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 Jesus is telling you that he is going to be together with you. He is going to be your friend. So boys and girls, that is the promises that God has promised us for this, this season. That we should not be afraid. So what have we learned today, boys and girls? One, we have learned that God, when we have God in ourselves, in these new, new territories, we should not be afraid. That is one. The second one that we have learned, that we should not be discouraged. But there is one thing that we have learned, that we should be courageous to take what? These new territories. Whether in your class, whether you, you meet your new friends, just invite them. Don't be, fear, don't be afraid to tell them that you love Jesus. To tell them about God. Even to tell them that God loves them. Because when you tell them, God is happy. So boys and girls, that is a, when you do that, God is happy. And when you do, you do that, you become, you, you take these two territories for God. And because God is together with you, he will help you and he will make you to be his friend. So boys and girls, that is our lesson. Our memory verse is coming from the book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. The Bible says what? Do not fear for I am with you. Can you say again? Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. What does the Bible say? Do not fear for I am together with you. Boys and girls, that is our memory verse. You can tell everybody, your parents, your mom and dad, even in school, go and tell them, you should not fear because God is together with you. So that is our memory verse. And our craft, boys and girls, we want to do our craft for today. And our craft today, I want you to just, these are things that you want to have. Just take a plain paper. You must have a pencil and a rubber. And these are the mark pens. And through the help of your mom and dad, I want you just to print your, to draw their footsteps like this. Look at which, like mine. These are the footsteps. And in each of these footsteps, those are, these are new territories. These are maybe a new class. You have five new friends. You have, you have moved from one place to another. That is a, a new territory. So when you, you, you draw them, you, you color them, then you write the memory verse. What is our memory verse for today? Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. What does the Bible says? Do not fear, for I am together with you. That is our craft work for today. Boys and girls, have you enjoyed our lesson today? Oh yes, even me, I have enjoyed to be together with you. And because you have been, a, you have been good boys and girls, I want us, we want us to pray. What do we do when we want to pray? We just put our hands together and we close our eyes. Then we pray. We say, dear Lord Jesus, I thank you. I bless you for being together with me this morning, even for helping me to learn this lesson. Father, I thank you and I bless you for you have been together with me and you have been together with us in this lesson. I want to thank you and I want to bless you. For this we pray trusting in Jesus' name. So, amen. So, boys and girls, I have enjoyed to be together with you. And until next, next time, bye-bye. <music>